Welcome to SAG InfoTech Tutorials. In this video, we will let you know how to file GSTR 3B. GSTR 3B is an interim return made for filing the consolidated values of outward and inward supplies for the month of July and August. The due date of GSTR 3B for July month is 20th of August and for August it is 20th of September respectively. Now let's proceed with the filing of return through our software. In order to start with the return filing click on returns in the menu bar. After clicking on returns now click on GSTR 3B to start with the process. Now select your client. After selecting your client click on fill form. Now there are five sections in this form. First is outward and inward supplies, interstate supplies, eligible ITC, nail rated supplies and payment of tax. Now if your information is related to outward and inward supplies, enter your information in this section. If you are having any outward supplies other than zero rated or nil rated, enter your information over here. Total taxable value if you are having any integrated tax, central tax, state tax or any set. If you are having any non-GST supplies, you can enter the value in the same section. After entering your information, just click on save button to save your information. Now let's proceed with the second section of the form that is interstate supplies. Click on interstate supplies. Now there are three particulars that is supplies made to unregistered persons, composition, taxable persons and UIN holders. If your information relates to supplies made to unregistered persons, select the same. Now select your place of supply. Now enter your total taxable value, the amount of integrated tax and if you are having another information related to supplies made to unregistered person, please ensure that the place of supply is different from the place of supply you have selected earlier. Click on add button to add more information. Suppose I am having now the details related to composition taxable person, I will select the same. I will select my place of supply, now the total taxable per value and the amount of integrated tax. Save your information and proceed further with the next section that is eligible ITC. Now eligible ITC is the section where you have to enter the values related to ITC available, ITC reversed and ineligible ITC. Enter the information in ITC available section that is import of goods or, or services, inward supplies that is liable to reverse charge, inward supply from ISD etc. Now if there is any ITC reversed, enter the information in the column. If you are having any ineligible ITC, then you have to enter the appropriate information over here. As you can see, the net ITC available is calculated automatically by the software. Save your information and proceed with the next section that is nil rated supplies. If you are having any nil rated supplies from a supplier under composition scheme or any non-GST supplies, enter your interstate or intrastate supplies related to this. After entering the information, save it and proceed further with the next section that is payment of tax. Now this section deals with various particulars that is tax payable, interest payable, late fees payable, IGST ITC, CGST ITC, SGST ITC and CES ITC and tax paid in cash, interest paid, late fees paid, interest ITC. Related information has to be entered in various sections what you have done according to your transaction. Save your information. In this manner you can create your GSTR 3B through a software. Thank you so much.